Looking onto the photographs, the parents of James Lindsay faced the man who hit and killed their seven-year-old son in a Manatee County courtroom today. And what a moment this was. Aaron Naylor pleaded no contest to a number of charges associated with James's death. But as Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisson reports for us tonight, the judge gave him the maximum sentence. Aaron Naylor's sobs could be heard throughout the courtroom. <laughs> As surveillance video played, showing the moment he hit seven-year-old James Patrick Lindsay and his father while the two were jogging in March of 2022 in Palmetto. I cradled him in my arms on the side of that road after picking him up out of the middle of the road while this man screaming about himself. Alex Lindsay and James were inseparable. They had just finished a jujitsu lesson before their jog when Naylor jumped a curb and hit them. He was driving in a commercial van, speeding, and had extremely high levels of meth in his system. When Palmetto police tried to arrest him, he ran several times. There's just a million ways that it could have happened that I could actually have honest to God remorse and feel that those tears were real. Naylor pled no contest to multiple charges, including DUI manslaughter, possession of drugs, and resisting arrest. Naylor's mother told the court her son suffered from years of mental and physical abuse. I would never, ever want to cause the same pain. Naylor begged for forgiveness. If I could change, take my life for his, if that was an option, I would do that. I honestly would. Assistant State Attorney Garrett Franzen reminded the court this was no accident. This is an intentional act. He consumed that and got behind the wheel of a car and ran over that kid. And the judge agreed. You've been through this before. You've had multiple opportunities to get help. You chose not to do that. Judge Macario sentenced Naylor to the maximum he could. 24 and a half years in prison, a small portion of a lifetime James Lindsay will never have. You snuffed out the life of a seven-year-old, depriving the world of that young man. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Well, James's father also spoke about how his son's death has impacted so many children in their community. The school that James attended has already started an award named after him, and they give it out to children who show kindness and lend a helping hand to others like James often did.